welcome to another exciting episode of Entertainment Gist and Trendy Stories right here on Yacht TV. I'm Bambi Best, your queen of gist. This is Yacht 360. Anana Sam Ankara has received a certificate for the Guinness World Records Youngest Male Artist. He attempted the Guinness World Records in Accra from the 18th of January to the 20th of January 2024. He has ended the reign of Dante Lamb, a three-year-old boy who has reportedly held this title since 2003. So his mother announced this in the press conference that he gained the, world's, the Guinness World Records Youngest Male Artist on the 14th of May. She made a post posting her son in beautiful pictures, having his certificate by his side, and captioned it, We are thrilled to release the official photos of Ace Liam, the Guinness World Record holder for the youngest artist at just one year old, 152 days. Ace Liam has officially received a certificate from Guinness World Records, and we are over the moon to share this special moment with you. So guys, this is Ace Liam, our beautiful youngest male artist. What advice would you give to the parents at this moment and for the future, if you were in the parents' shoes, what will you do for this baby boy for the future to come? Moving on to our next story, artist manager Bullet has subtly thrown a jab at Wendy Shea whilst he was praising Sami Flex. He made a post on his social media handle where he wrote, Last Friday, Shatawale pulled a massive crowd in Boligatanga but nobody is talking about how big the show was. Rather, people did this his manager Sammy Flex. Why? A video circulating online from his performance paired their thoughts, had the artist speak to his manager in a bossy manner, and some Ghanaians are calling Sammy all sorts of names because Shatawale is openly giving him orders. And I find this absurd. Who says artists no pick give orders? First of all, I want to Big up Sammy Flex because managing a brand as big as Shatawale is not easy. Now, as an artist manager, I see a lot of ignorance from many Ghanaians who are commenting on the video. Many of you people don't know shit about artist management. For your information, artist management is like marriage. Artists take orders from managers and managers take orders from artists. I celebrate you, Sammy Flex. You are my best manager for the year. Forget everybody and chop your money. Me self, them drop this song, give me. But who cares? So as Bullet was praising Sammy Flex for being the manager that he is, as a video was circulating on social media where Shatawale was giving orders to Sammy Bar Flex, and many Ghanaians are saying a whole lot of things about this video that Shatawale is being disrespectful to him. People are mocking Sammy Flex, and this is what. Bullet has to say about Sammy Flex that he's the best manager that he is. He's doing a good job. And even him, Bullet, he has received a diss track from his own artist. Guys, what would you like to say about this whole issue? Do you think Shatawale was being disrespectful? Or it is right to tell your manager the wrong that he has done at a certain point? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Moving on to our next story for today. It's a very sensitive topic that many people do not like to talk about. Quite sensitive and funny at the same time. So in a conversation on GH1's Dube show, Masolo Tibu, who is a nurse, says that women should have sex with their men even if they are not in the mood to avoid them from having prostate cancer. Women do produce um, one egg every month. So ideally, their edge for sex should reduce. As, okay. com as, as compared to we, our body makes us produce one billion a day, sperms a day. Mm. Yeah. So, so you need to make use of it. Yeah. If, if you don't make use of it, that's when you are prone to prostate cancers and other stuff. Okay. So you have to excrete them. When you're excreting, excreting them, the cancer thousand substance also comes out. So right. even if you don't like sex, you have to let your man be doing it so that it, it will prevent him from getting. Um, that's if you can't contain. Benign prostatic hypertrophy, yeah. mm. cancers, and other stuff. Yeah. So he heard all that was said. 
According to him, women produce one egg each month, whilst men produce over millions of sperms during sex. So the men have to release it to avoid having cancer. When asked that if their family planning is at the wrong gender, since the men are the ones distributing a lot of sperms, he says it's at the right gender, because the female are the ones who are supposed to protect themselves from getting pregnant. Guys, what do you think about this whole thing? Is it true? And women, are you ready to do according to what Masolitibu is saying? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now that'll be all for today's episode. I'm Bambi Best, your queen of jazz. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media handles at Yaya TV. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Yaya TV. And for more news updates, visit www.myyatv.com. Catch you in the next episode. Have a lovely day. Yaya TV. Bridging Continent.